Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the basics of using your Smart Music account. Now once you've created an account for Smart Music and joined a class, you'll be able to log in. I recommend that you use your six digit student ID number and the same password that you use to log in at the student computer so that you don't have to remember extra things. This is a school owned account. It's going to be fine. There's no, not going to be any access issues. Now your home page when you log in will look somewhat similar to mine. Um, but not, not exactly the same. You'll have a tab here that says assignments and then it'll list across the page your assignments for each of your classes. Whereas I have controls for different classes and then the assignments that I've created. So we're gonna look at one of these as if it's one of your assignments. Let's do, go ahead and do Psalm 100. Now, once you click on an assignment, it's gonna have you select a part. This is really important that you're preparing the part that you've been assigned to. There's piano parts or whatever other accompaniment instruments, and then there's the voice parts. Most of the time you're going to have the same voice part across the year, but I do always make a point of writing out the assignments for everyone, for every piece, so that you can refer to it. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the alto part this time. So once I've selected my part, let's click open, and it will load the piece up. This usually takes a couple seconds. Now there's a lot of cool features in Smart Music that we're gonna explore how to use. Up across the top, we have different tabs that take you to different tools that you're gonna to use to navigate the piece. The Tracks tab is the most important one to start on and this is our default. First thing I'm gonna do is click this little mute button. I'm gonna turn on my part. This allows me to hear my own notes when they're playing. The other, the other volume sliders up here are for accompaniment. That's everyone else's part plus the piano. I'm going to turn that one down right now. So I'm mostly just hearing my own part. And then of course there's the metronome. The metronome is going to keep a consistent beat, a steady beat as I'm recording my piece. The, uh, there's also a button you can click for subdivisions. That means it's going to subdivide the beat or it's going to give you eighth notes. I usually leave that unclicked for a slower piece, a, a piece that's, that's, that's a, a, an andante or adagio tempo. I may go ahead and click that button, but usually I'm just going to leave it unclicked. So usually this is my starting point. I lower my accompaniment or I can turn it all the way off if my, if my little slider is gray then that means that my, my volume is turned all the way off. So let's do it that way for right now. I'm gonna leave my metronome on. The swing button, you don't usually have to touch. Um, sometimes for jazz choir pieces, you will wanna select a swing feature as well. And then we'll explore some of the other tabs as we get through here, but let's start with just some basic features. So Smart Music, the primary control buttons you're going to be using are these ones. The green play button will just play the track along like this. And right now we're only going to hear my part and the metronome. Let's listen. Yep. And that's enough for me to work on just in a practice setting, right? I can click on whatever measure I want to start on. Usually I'll do one measure before my part comes in. Uh, I'm gonna leave the accompaniment turned off, but I, then I can practice just with, the, just with that feature. That's all I need to do is play and I can sing along. One, two, three. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, serve the Lord with gladness, come into his presence with singing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now the cool thing about Smart Music and how it's going to grade you is using this button, the record button. Now usually when you're recording, I'm going to have you use headphones so that I only hear your voice, um, but I'm going to demonstrate without headphones right now and then I'll show you some of the other features. When I press the record button, it's going to use the microphone on my computer and record my voice and assess whether I'm singing the notes and rhythms right. Go ahead and watch and see what it looks like. 